Hello and thank you for joining me. This is Joanna the Medium Channel and I'm Joanna. I am your medium and also an intuitive coach. These are going to be your um, general messages for September 2017. Few um, things before we go into your reading. First and foremost, thank you so much for coming back. For those of you who have been my loyal viewers, thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for purchasing your private sessions. Um, I can't thank you enough. And I do what I do because I love helping all of you. So thank you so much. For those of you who are new, I hope that you find what you like here. Perhaps you were guided by a fluke to come to this channel. And hopefully the messages that you hear will resonate with you on some level. Uh, because these gen messages are general, they will not uh, resonate with all of you. Uh, and sometimes they will not resonate with you at all. Sometimes certain parts will resonate with you and sometimes the whole message will resonate with you. And from my experience over the last almost two years of doing these videos, uh, what I'm getting from you is that they're substantially uh, turn out to be quite personal for you and I love hearing that but if you want a private session of course that information is down below for you and for those of you who are uh, getting back to me and asking me questions per uh, pertaining to the general message uh, readings I cannot get back to you and I cannot answer your questions because these are general so um, it's impossible for me to tune in to every single individual and even if someone does connect with me and ask me a question about a video or message in a video um, it, it's impossible for me to to get that information uh, also for information uh, or for videos that are long term you can of course go to my vimeo on demand page where i have videos from july until the end of this year posted that information is also down below for you also um on monday september the 4th on my show radio show i will be interviewed by my beautiful friend stephanie she was on the show previously and she's going to throw questions my way i have no idea what they are this is a complete surprise for me as far as what the content of her questions are so stay tuned this is going to be an exciting show because i have absolutely nothing as far as um prep time it's just going to be what it's going to be so tune in and for those of you who can't tune in that show will be posted. I will post it on this channel so it will be available for you to listen down the road. The information on the show, if you want to listen to it live, is also down below. And if you want to book a private session, there is a icon that will appear to you right there at the top or there is information regarding my booking or the way to book appointments. Um, also, that information is down below for you. And you can see the name at the bottom of the screen, joannademedium.com. You can go into my website or to my website and contact me from there. And last but not least, I am expanding. I am changing. Spirit pushes me, is pushing me in uh, a, a, a new direction, a more expanded direction. So over the next few months, you will see a lot of changes to my site, a lot of changes to the way I work. Uh, huge additions that will benefit you. So over the next few weeks, I will post a video on what those changes will be. And it's exciting for me because it's going to be um, offering a lot more services for you. So stay tuned. And I think that's all I have. As, as always, thank you so much for liking, sharing, for subscribing. I um, hope you like these videos. And let's go on and start your reading for September. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful Geminis, this is going to be your reading for the month of September. If you hear a bit of a noise, I have a fan going because it's too warm here and when it's too warm I find it difficult. I actually find it very claustrophobic. So, uh, very interesting energy. I actually love what's happening here because when I was, uh, this is for uh, sun sign, moon sign and rising sign or for those of you who uh, connect with Gemini as a strong sense of who you are. I'm just gonna turn down the music just a wee bit in case it's a little bit too loud. Uh, when I was connecting with the energy for the month of September, 2017, uh, one of the first things that I'm feeling right now is they're saying to me the words new beginnings. But when I was focusing on uh, what was coming towards you, um, I actually, this is what I heard. 
inner guid guidance and need for solitude in order to gather inner resources, which will then later turn into tangible resource. Um, contemplation through inner guidance. So basically the month of September seems to be a month of contemplation. But there is a bit of a caveat with this. Caveat, is that the right words? Um, and it comes out actually in cards a little bit later. And so let me just finish what, what the message was. Ability to see yourself differently this time around, so this is specific, um, need for patience and ability to think clearly without noise or distractions. Distract, distractions self-awareness and wisdom so much of this month will be or should be or you are guided to uh, spend time in some form of contemplation self in order to gain self-awareness through meditation through prayer time alone away from noise spending time in order to gain some valuable resources by going within to ask yourself some important questions some of those questions will be around relationships. Some of those questions will be around work. Some of these questions will be about priorities in general in your life. And the question that I'm feeling you will be asking or you, it would be wise for you to ask is the question of what is, what do I want at this time and how do I choose to experience life? And based on what the answer is, how do I choose to move forward in order to create my wants or my desires into reality. So though, although there is going to be a moment of contemplation, and we'll go through the cards in a moment, it is important that you don't get lost too much in it. So not getting lost too much in daydreaming, but it's more about a balance, it's about a practical approach that is combined with inner guidance or inner awareness. So logic and intuition, putting those two to work, which then will bear fruit down the road. What I also saw is an image of you spreading all the cards on the table, and that is a metaphor, and looking at all the resources that you have. Now the resources could be outside of you or physical tangible resources or resources within you. It makes no difference. But you are looking at all your available resources or available resources to you and choosing which ones you will pick that will most likely work with, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna close the email, work with you or work in your favor in order to give you the best benefit or the best outcome based on what it is you're trying to accomplish. So this is about choosing wisely and picking, cherry picking, uh, from all your resources that are available to you, and a lot of these will be mental and intuitive, and finding a way to use those to your benefit going forward. I hear the word education. For some of you, uh, you will be relying on your old education or education from your past. Some of this will be education that came through life experience, and some of this might be you acquiring new education going forward. But I feel like this is a time of practical planning, they're telling me. And planning has two stages. One is thought and awareness, and the other one is actually putting the planning, the, the thought and awareness into practice or into tangible results as in paper and then creating focused um, attention. So a lot of this month is about contemplation, but also part of the, the month is about drive. But the drive is not so much about doing, doing, doing. The drive is more about being and feeling and then translating that into doing later on. So I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. I also kept seeing the number 11. Sorry, I'm scratching my nose because it's always the same thing when spirit comes through. They like to tickle my nose. Um, I kept seeing the number 11. And number 11 to me is balance. It is also a card of judgment and a traditional tarot card. So this could mean that there's a contemplation required in from you in order to Cre uh, gain fairness, create create fairness, create balance. Some of this may be to do with a legal action or something that you are involved in where fairness or judgment is, is concerned and there is a need for you to contemplate and look at all your resources and then using your resources that will best uh, 
best suits the outcome you're looking for but the, i don't feel that's majority as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure that's not majority of you 75 percent of you at least this is all about planning for the future because the sign that i was seeing also is sign number one and they did say to me at the very beginning and i believe i mentioned this uh new beginnings fresh starts um the other thing that i keep seeing is balancing things out so we talked about that um the need to escape from rea from reality so some of you may feel like you need to escape from the everyday noise so this could be you know uh, spending more time in contemplation spending more time in actual medication meditation practice not medication <laughs> meditation practice which could be like medication um, some of you may actually choose to get away for a little while for the weekend or for a few days in order to clear your head so that you can um, gather again gather your strength gather your resources and I feel like you're I, I, I see this as, a, as, as, a, as an engine that's being that's revving up and the engine is revving up because it's ready to move on in a short order into something and that something I, I, I hear is for many of you October November connected so whatever this means to you month of September is met with contemplation inner guidance inner resources or the need for you to do that so this is um, this is uh, uh, for those of you who are always on the go and trying to do 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 do. This is a bit of a a, 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 um, a reminder that in order to do the doing, you have to have the knowing. Because if you do the knowing without if you do the doing without the knowing, you're likely going to crash because you have don't you don't have clear direction. So and direction comes often within and then it's externalized through outer resources. So I I, I think I know, you know what I'm getting. Now, going with the cards, one of the first cards, and this was interesting because the cards were, this is how the cards came up, actually like this, okay? So I actually didn't see that there were two cards, and then just kind of went like this, and I was like, oh, okay, there's two. So these two cards came out. The first card is the Nine of Cups, and the second card is Ace of Swords in, reserve, in reverse. Now, again, for those of you, and I say this every single time, and some of you laugh at me because I always say I don't read cards. I don't read cards as a traditional tarot reader does. I can can't it's I can't seem to learn but anyway so I, I read cards in a certain way that appeal to me and then I hear words and images that come to me based on what I see so some of it will coincide with a traditional meaning but some of it won't um, so if it means something different to you then of course take that and listen to, to your intuition point is that you are dealing with something that is going to be eventually very fulfilling mind heart body and soul and a lot of it has to do with your inner resources. So if your inner resources, if the inner you feels at peace, feels harmonious, feels balanced, you will more likely than not externalize this on the outside of you and the universe will bring this to you and will reflect what you're feeling. So that's why the being is much more important than the doing. Yes, I'm almost retracted by saying that's not the case. But yes, actually, that is the case. Because if we do, 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 do without being in a certain state that does not match the doing, then the process is, is not cohesive. Okay, so you are moving towards a great f feeling of fulfillment. So there's definitely something you're working on towards fulfillment. And you see this gentleman here, he's standing on a leaf. Leaf to me represents, well, it's nature. So he is standing on leaf on nature, which tells me he is relying on the nature of things. And this is my interpretation. As I hear it, it's not the card. What is nature of things in this message? It's letting things happen in its natural order without trying to so much as force things to happen so this is going more with the flow and there you can see the flow here you've got the flow of water which is also emotions and it's flowing there's no obstructions here there's no distractions here uh, or di distractions dis detractions this dis being distracted um there is uh, uh, uh what's the word here what the, this is um oh my god i lost the word well whatever this is it's um oh jesus sorry oh treasure chest yeah okay there's a treasure chest here okay this and there is light coming out of this treasure chest so 
The treasure chest is the inner knowing and the person is standing in front of that treasure chest and the light from that treasure chest is emanating towards that person who is at peace. So this is all about you finding peace within you from having an inner knowing of an inner awareness uh, um, of what you want, who you want to be, but most importantly, who you truly are, which is you are a magnificent being of light and you are by the very nature of who you are even when we talk about an atomically you are power an atom is a source of power so not just gemini's all of you but it is a recognizing that wealth within you which many of us lack that will then translate into wealth outside of you the other part of this message is the ace of the ace of uh, pentacles so when i see the combination of the cards what i'm hearing is is that the Again, the new, the newness of something you are working on, and the something is tangible. So it's it's going to be a re either relationship or either a project, uh, a new job, something outside of you, something fundamental, something that you can touch for the most part, something you own, something you have. There is there is the beginning is is almost like you have the beginning, but it's not quite ready yet. It still needs time to. Um, uh, gain energy, gain momentum. It's like in its it's in, and it's in a growing stage, and the the, the image that I'm getting is a, a baby, a fetus, and before the baby is born, there is a period of gestation, typically nine months, sometimes a little bit shorter, sometimes a little bit longer. So, but there is you know generally speaking, there is a significant time or certain time of gestation in order for the baby to grow to a certain. Uh, to a certain point where after when it's born it has the ability to survive that's what it's saying the thing that you are working on the project the relationship whatever it is whatever is you're trying to build is not quite ready yet to take off but again i'm seeing the word november october november so it could be relationship could be uh, you know beginning of relationship could be you wanting a brand new relationship i feel like many of you are just about there and again, it's the engine revving up, getting ready for something. So that is the message here. Now, when I add the two cards together, thank you, it comes nine and one is 10. 10 is endings or, or completions, which are followed by, brand, by brand new beginnings. So because the way it's presented to me, it's nine and one, you are going through a period of completion. So you are, a part of your life has ended and you come into a place of feeling feeling whole, feeling good. I heard forgiveness. Some of you may have, ha may have had to forgive somebody. Some of you may have had to forgive yourselves for the things you have or haven't done, uh, whatever it is. But I heard the word forgiveness. And whatever, that, whatever you have dealt with in the past, a completion period brings you a sense of closure, which then allows you to start a brand new beginning from a much stronger base, okay? And the base here being the leaf, the natural state of being, go with the flow, uh, without forcing things to happen. So it's also least resistance. The next card you have is, which is brilliant, and I got all the information before I actually had the cards out. It's called Breathe. So this is Colette's um, cards. What does this card talk about? Well, it talks about breathing. It talks about if you are go, 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 this is a time for you to relax. It's a time, it's time for you to be still. It's time for you to be more in a contemplation mode than go, 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 go all the time. Now there is a go component a little bit further down the road and the card comes up with that. But right now for the first, mm, I want to say two to three weeks of September, it's more time of planning and being. It is also not a time of forcing things to happen. So whether you are in a relationship and you're trying to force things to go to a certain next stage, uh, the advice here is don't do that because the next stage hasn't, it, it's not ready yet to come into birth. If you are forcing to, uh, to make some changes with your work, for example, and you're trying and trying and trying and nothing is working, it's because energetically speaking, the opportunity isn't ready for you or you're not ready yet for the opportunity. But I see it just around the corner. 
if there is an aspect of something or a project that you are trying to work on that's ready that we want to take off and we'll talk about the health in a moment too um, don't try to force it to happen if you feel things are not quite ready because most likely it's not now if you have a deadline and something has to be done obviously you do the best you can because if the alternative is you get a severe punishment in some sort then yeah you gotta outweigh your uh, you know you gotta you gotta outweigh the pros and cons but for most of you who are trying to get something off the ground a lot of uh, September is going to be or you are meant to spend in contemplation to gather inner resources so that these inner resources will then help you get this off the ground some of you are working on things hastily and you're trying to get it off but at the end of the day if I was to ask you why are you really doing it you would say I actually don't know so if you are doing something just because you're doing it you got, you got caught up in the doing 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 but you don't know why you're doing it what's the point okay so this is what this is talking about breathe relax wait until the perfect moment which is just around the corner for most of you but it may not be right at the beginning of September the next card you have is chop wood so this is actually about this is a bit of the warning that I was talking about before and the warning is that yes go 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 and do 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 is a necessary part of being because there is knowing there's being there's thinking there's the doing so the caveat that I was talking about earlier is don't get too lost in a dreamland so for those of you who are sitting on ideas and have been sitting for a very long time eventually you're gonna have to get off your butt so to speak and start getting things going so the message you know this is a different message for for different people so this is not for those of you who already have something in the process so if you are all about on a go 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 this is about contemplation if you are in a dreamland and have been in a dreamland for so long and you're like oh in a dream this is a message that in September at some point though this is good you're gonna have to start going chop 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 so it's about balance again and I think you understand what I'm saying the next card is even more brilliant because it talks about priorities so and I believe that card came up with another with another message so what why does this card come up notice there's a lot of orange here red and this is also um, yellow and a lot of purple so yellow is all about creativity orange is all about uh, the second chakra there's some yellow with it uh, orange sorry red with it which signifies a need for grounding so many of you need to ground your um, relationship more your ideas more your projects because for some of you things are not grounded enough to take off and it's not dissimilar with with a tree if a tree is not firmly rooted the next little wind that comes in will pop the tree on the side and the possibility of that tree surviving that if it's on its side is not great so so the roots need to go deep to get grounding and once it's grounded then it's solid and that's a perfect starting point so this talks about making sure that what you're doing actually serves you and those around you and again what I was talking about earlier is sometimes we get caught up in the go 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 but if we, if we really stop and ask ourselves why are we doing this sometimes we can't answer that question and that's a problem because then you end up going and doing and you realize well why am I doing it and if I don't know why when I get there how will I even recognize it if I don't know what that is so this is about again there's a need for contemplation here you'll notice that Ganesha here is holding a lily I believe that's a lily I think um, which is a symbol of purity spirituality so there is a spiritual aspect to what you do well there's a spiritual aspect to everything that we do but in the context of this reading I think you know there's a spiritual aspect of what you're doing so it is being mindful of the deeper reasoning for why you're doing what you're doing if it's a relationship you're after and you have been involved with somebody for a long time and you're rushing it to the next step because you want to get married or move in you got to ask yourself and you get especially if you're getting resistance from the other side 
you got to ask yourself, okay, why is this so important to me? Why, am, why do I feel like I need to rush this? Are you afraid you're going to lose somebody if it doesn't get to the next space? And if that's the case, you got to go deep within and ask yourself, is this really what's happening? Am I going to lose somebody if we don't do the next step? Because if that's the case, this per person is probably not for you. But if that's not the case, you got to go deep inside and say, okay, what is being triggered in me? Why do I feel this way? And why is this coming up right now? For some of you, it's going to be some old stuff that you haven't dealt with, which is, again, the need for contemplation and asking yourself, why do I want this? What do I want? So this is about spend, making sure you put your energy and your resources where it matters most to you. So example would be, um, you know, you want to make lots of money. Okay, perfect. Why do you want to make lots of money? Well, because I want to have lots of money to spend. Okay, that's great. But when you are working seven days a week, you know, 50, 60 hours a day, does that bring you happiness? If the answer is no, well, you might want to look at scaling down how you're approaching your abundance. Because if you are miserable making money in order to then spend for five minutes and then go back to your misery, that's really, that, that, that's not worth. It's, that's not worth it to me anyway. It's certainly not balanced. So this is about, again, priorities that allow you to be or feel balanced. Now, I realize we are not always, or we cannot always feel balanced 100% of the time because it doesn't work that way. But when you look overall at the majority of your life and what you do every day, if for the most part, it feels like you're feeling fairly balanced, some days being totally chaotic and some days being just completely lazy, but there's days in between. If you feel like you're pretty happy with where you are, you're in a good place, okay? If you are doing things or if you are being asked to do things that take you away from that inner peace and that inner harmony, you have to ask yourself, is this what I want? It's about priorities. I think you guys understand what priority is. So pick your priorities. Listen to your intuition. I'm looking at the, um, at the, at the colors here on his forehead. I'm, being, I'm drawn to that. Uh, for some of you, it's to do with an inner eye, clarity with the inner eye, clearer seeing, ability to see more clearly, ability to see not only yourself more clearly, but also as you see yourself more clearly, you're able to understand those around you more clearly. And I could talk for another hour about this, but also this is a card of creativity, okay? So allow yourself to be creative. Uh, the relationship part I want to touch on just briefly Don't, okay, the message is don't be too rushed to get into anything that doesn't ultimately serve you. So again, going back and asking yourself, is what I'm trying to get to so quickly really what I want? And is this really going to serve me in a positive way? If the answer is yes, and you need to make some sacrifice, perfect. But if you down deep inside know that what you're trying to rush to actually is not serving you, don't bother. You are in charge, you are in control, and you have the power to say yes or no and change the course. Remember, September is about finding balance within. When we are balanced within, we are more likely than not to behave act and do things that will be in accordance with our inner balance so it will be like a feedback loop of a feedback loop right if you are disharmonious and if you are chaotic inside that's what you are going to attract because you're going to be running frantically around trying to do things that ultimately don't serve you which means you're spilling energy that is keeping you absolutely empty at the end of the day so that's all i have but overall i feel it's a very good month for you it's a very interesting month there's a lot of um weight with this uh, energetically not in a heavy way but just it's substantial and I, I actually feel this for the most sign <clears throat> for most signs i think a lot of it has to do with the energies that we experience shifts in um, august so I, I feel very good about this so i hope this helps um i certainly hope it makes sense to you bits and pieces make sense may make sense to you some of it may not make sense like all all of it so see if you can pick up bit, bits and pieces 
um, and if it does make sense obviously if you wish you can comment down below I love reading your comments and I read every single one and until October I look forward to see you uh, soon and enjoy the month of September take care